Yo, yo, it's Small Mouth Crush. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different than what I normally do, but I think it's going to be a good one. I debated whether or not I should put this video up, and you know what I thought? I thought, why not? You know, let's be a rebel. So I think I may have found the worst bait casting reel in the history of bait casting reels. I mean, it is bad. It is bad. We're going to get into it. That's all coming up. All right, so let me explain how this all came about. Let's start from the beginning, and I'll walk you through this whole interesting uh, process that I went through to get this real. Well, I guess when you get a few subscribers on your YouTube channel, you start getting approached by various companies. Now, right now, as of right now, I'm not getting approached by some of the companies that I would like to get approached by, some of the big name brands out there, but I'm getting approached by a lot of smaller guys, and I certainly appreciate that. And I look into opportunities um, with everyone whenever they approach me to, to work with them as far as whether it be a promotion or a sponsorship or whatever the case may be. But here's the big thing, I have to like the product. I have to be able to use it. I'm not just gonna spew some garbage to you guys so you go buy something. That's not what I'm gonna ever do, ever. If I talk about it, it's because I use it on a regular basis and I believe in the product. So in the last two months, I've been approached by uh, three companies now, three companies that manufacture uh, reels, spinning rods, bait casting rods, they have a small lineup of some other baits, things like that. And the first two, when they approached me, I, I simply just respectively declined and said I'm not really interested at this time. So it was no big deal. Uh, we, just, we just moved on. It just wasn't, it wasn't in my realm of things I wanted to do videos on and talk about. So about a month ago or so, I got approached by another company and I thought, all right, I guess I was just bored that day. I was like, all right, I'll bite, right? I'll bite, what do you guys got? And so here's, I just wanna go through the email. Real, I'm not gonna read it word for word, uh, but I, I wanna show, show you how it all came about here. Hi there, this is so-and-so from this company. I don't think I'm gonna say the name of the company because it doesn't matter. I, I, I'm making this video to kind of show you guys to be careful for a number of things. Be careful of some of the equipment that you purchase for fishing and be careful of the marketing strategies that some of these companies are utilizing now. Uh, we specialize in fishing line, rods, reels, lures, and more. I think our products would match your channel and thus reach to seek cooperation. Oh, I like cooperation. We can provide some products for you to make videos. Great. Hold on. All right, just a neighbor, where were we? We can provide some products for you to make videos. That's awesome. We can pay you if your channel is really awesome. Well, my channel is really awesome. Bring on the box, right? We need featured videos for our products from you. Well, that doesn't seem too hard to do. I do videos all the time. Hope to hear from you soon. So here's where I bit. I said, you know what? First of all, I went to their website and I looked at their lineup and I saw a bait casting reel. Well, their highest end, well, they only sell one. It was $39.99 and I thought, man, that is a deal. If this beauty, it looks good looks very well manufactured, but is it gonna hold up? We'll find out, won't we? So I said, actually I went through all their stuff and I said, you know what, if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. I go, can you send me a spinning reel? I wanna try your bait casting reel. I'd also, they also sell lines, so they have a line spooler. They have fluorocarbon, coated fluorocarbon, and then some braid, and I thought, Send me a whole care about package. Send me a box. Let's get this thing going. I'll check out your products and we'll go from there. Oh, I should mention also, I, I just saw where I also sent an, another email because I kind of felt bad 
I would certainly love to take a look at your products and I would do a video on it if it's something I would utilize. Although I'm not expecting much. I even put that in here. And I go, I literally own over X dollars a lot of just rods and reels alone, which are all high end and I fish over, you know, 200 days a year. So I put my equipment to the test and have high opinions on what works and what doesn't. So I may not be your typical individual to, you know, uh, to, in, to have influence on your product is, is what I put. I appreciate the opportunity. Sincerely, Travis. Okay, so we wait. Day goes by. Travis, thanks for your prompt reply. You mentioned you want to try spinning reels, bait casting, line spooler, line, and when you test them and feel great with using them, you can film video, videos for them, right? All of them are available. Okay. But I'd like to work with you on one bait casting reel and one fishing line first. And then we can work on the other items you need. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what do you think? Looking forward to hearing from you. Well, that's kind of a disappointment. I'm, I'm kind of a spinning rod guy. That's why I requested a spinning rod first and foremost because I'd love to take a look. Finesse fisherman. You know, I want to see how good that that drag system is how the rod feels. Anyways, I'm fine. If we're not gonna send me this whole big care package, send me one reel and some line, we'll be good to go. So I write back, I'd like to take, I go, oh, I would like to take a look at your products first to see if this product is something I can get behind. Okay, so we left it at that. And I really didn't think nothing of it. I went away fishing for a week, uh, two weeks actually, and the package arrived when I was gone, about four days after I left. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not even thinking about it. I'll get it when I get home. So I get an email while I'm on the road. Hi, Travis. This is so-and-so from this company. I should have contacted you before about making the video, but I'm tied up working, okay? I've checked the, uh, the reel and it has been delivered on October 25th and now it's November. Okay. Well, yeah, it turned November six days ago, but, uh, please get it done within this week as it's been a while since you received it. Really lady? It's been a while. I've been on the road. It just showed up when I got this email actually five days ago. Chill, chill baby, please. Uh, whatever. So then she sends me these requirements, at least 10 minutes, including two minutes of the reel. I have to add the company, add the reel, and the video title and tags. Tags are invisible to the viewers. Okay, I get that part. Put the product in the video's cover photo add customized links to the video and here's a list of links and then I have to do a call to action at the end of the video call for them to purchase you must purchase this reel if you want to catch big fish right looking forward to hearing from you bam okay well now you got a lot of rules and stipulations my friend and I'm still on a fishing trip so how am I gonna get this done I'm just going to respond because I was aggravated. Maybe I had a bad day fishing. I think that's what it was. I was practicing on Lake Gundersville and it was a rough day. So when I get back to the cabin, I pull up my laptop, read this email, and I reply with this. I reply with this, which isn't terrible, but I go, I will gladly ship it back if this is the attitude you are going to be taking with me. In fact, send me a label to ship it back. I left on October 24th to pre-fish for the World Championship FLW Costa Series on Lake Gundersville, and I'm away fishing until next week. It's not bad. I was just like, come on, give me a break. It's been five days, and you expect me to make some amazing video for this amazing $40 reel that just showed up in my house? Come on. 
Then she responds, I don't mean to be rush and harsh. I didn't urge you to get the video edited before last email, as I know you need some time to shoot and edit and then upload. But I don't know you were on a fishing trip as you don't, didn't tell me before. I didn't figure it was any of your business. Otherwise, I won't email you until you come back. I won't email you until you come back next week. Just keep me updated. I'm looking forward to hear your thoughts about the real after you. So basically, and, and it's not, I'm not, I'm just making an observation. This individual is from another country, maybe a marketing director or promote, promo staff for this company uh, because she's typing back in broken words, broken English. And... Uh, so it is what it is. So she doesn't have a pulse on, you know, what's going on here in the United States as far as, I don't think she's based here in the US, we'll put it that way. Okay, so I thought, I'm not gonna respond. In fact, I have not responded yet. But I did get an email just the other day. Hi Travis, have you gotten back from the fishing trip? Just wanna know how does the video go? Thank you. Well, here's your video. Here's your video, although I don't think you're gonna want me to put tags and a picture of this reel on my thumbnail. As you can expect, anything that costs $39.99 that's a bait casting reel is probably not when you, I mean a good range bait caster that I found is right around the $200 mark. Do I agree that it should be $200? No, it's too expensive as it is, but that's the market. That's how much it costs to have an entry, I shouldn't say entry level, because there's some probably entry level $100 reels. I'm sure you guys are gonna have your opinions and you'll be able to post below what are some of your favorite reels, but a good mid-level reel that I use all the time, you know, are gonna be your your Shimano Corrados, your, I use some some loose, my, my two favorite reels right now when it comes to bait casting reels are Shimano Corrados and I've been using the loose um, bait casting reels as well for the last three years now. I'm going to be looking to upgrade my reels this winter and I'll probably do a really good video on how I go about that but I'm not, I don't have a reel sponsor but I'm just saying those are my two favorite reels that I've used. Uh, I also love, on my spinning rods, you guys know if you watched it in my previous videos, it's all the Shimano's. I just, they're fantastic. I can't say enough good things about Shimano when it comes to their, their spinning reel lineup. So with that being said, what do you expect for $40? I wasn't expecting a whole lot. In fact, I even said in the email, I may not be your right candidate to shoot this video because I am very picky when it comes to my equipment. So the box shows up, no line by the way. I don't know what happened to the line deal. and. I took it out and I examined it. I looked it over and it looks beautiful. I mean, it's well designed. It fits in my hand pretty nice. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this reel isn't working properly. So I can't demonstrate how smooth it is, although it never was smooth straight out of the box. I only made about 10 casts with this reel and it sounds pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do, I think now would be a great time to take you out on the water and show you the first time I actually caught a fish and started using this reel out there. Alright, we got one hooked up. 
with that weird reel. It's a peg. You can hear the reel. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that stud. Whew. I'm I'm excited about the fish caught on a dirty jigs football jig. But this reel, this reel is garbage. Complete garbage. Jeez, I can't even reel. This is a good one. This reel is awesome. <laughs> Jeez, another stud. Another stud. Nice. Dirty Jigs football. The the reel the reel needed some work. We had some issues with the reel, again. <laughs> That's almost comical. That's almost comical. Oh man, now it's all goober. <laughs> and the line just fell. Okay, let's see here. I guess we're done with that reel for good. I got a really good idea what I can use that reel for. Maybe I can get one here. Hand, hand bringing it in. Wow. All right, as you can see, probably not the best video to promote that reel, but I had to show it. I mean, I'm 10 cast in, and that was what I was up against. So when I grabbed the reel out and took it out of the package, I noticed that the reel itself, the handle, was slightly loose. It wasn't it did feel real sturdy and it had a slight, it didn't make quite this much noise, but you could definitely tell it wasn't as you know smooth as butter like some reels that are higher quality. They'll just keep, the handle will just keep spinning and it's ultra smooth. And that's what I really like. Now, believe it or not, the, the tension, the drag system to cast the baits uh, was fine. It it did its job there. Small line capacity though, uh, very small. So they cut some corners. This is a seven to one gear ratio. It says it can hold 100 yards of 12 pound test line. So all that's going on here, guys, is this company either has you know a deal with a manufacturer and they're just a marketing company for their brand and they're just trying to get some cheap reels, spinning reels, get into the market. But what I don't like about how they're going about it is they're, they're trying to grab pro staffers by enticing them with free product. You know, here's a junk reel for $40. You know, it costs us six bucks to make, whatever, I don't know if it's six. Maybe some of you guys might know but I'm just guessing here. And, and then they're asking them to promote the product. And what happens is, you know, these people, because I, I did some investigating on social media, and actually I think the best thing what we should do, let's head upstairs and I'll walk you through a couple observations I made with their marketing strategy. Let's go ahead and do that. Dollars off on Amazon. Unbelievable. You get all this. You get 9 plus 1 shielded bearing, 17.6 carbon fiber drag. Can be used in salt water anywhere. Anywhere you want. It's got a lot of five star reviews. So, who's given these reviews? The first thing you want to do. So, this is what made me suspicious. Obviously, they wanted me to do some Amazon reviews in that email. Well, 
look how many reviews there are. There's October 4th, October 4th, September 25th, September 29th, October 15th. These are all in the last two, three months. And it's crazy. These people are digging it. Why? Well, because they're getting the reels for free to give feedback. I mean, this guy goes as far as saying he even loves their line. I use their Godline braid. Okay? I mean, that just, I mean, it's just comical. $29? I mean, this isn't what a good reel should be. If you go along here, I mean, this guy likes, did we go through that one? Okay, so page two. Well, here's someone. Open the package to Jay to check and the knob won't turn. So he's not happy. His, his broke less than 10 minutes. Mine broke in 10 casts, so we're right there. This reel's trash. Well, Tim, you're right, it is. But, but Tong here, he says it's an awesome reel. I don't know, Tong. Curtis, awesome bait caster for the money. He's going to buy more. I guess to each their own. To each their own. Uh, look up FishingCert on Amazon. Go to FishingCert.com to find this and many other great products. So this guy's a paid promoter, Jeff S. This guy didn't fish it yet, but he loves it. Yeah, just wait till you set the hook into a five pounder and tell me what you think. This guy put some more god line on it. Solid reel thus far. This guy got 40 hours. Good job, Mike. So I guess it's hit and miss, guys. If you want to take a chance and get a $30 reel, go right ahead. These are just my observations. Now let me show you something real quick. You see how close these these comments are as far as dates? I mean, they're just blowing this stuff up, trying to get people to say good things about them. That's their marketing strategy. Let's look at Shimano. Shimano Corrado. Just look at this. Obviously, it's going to have high ratings. It's a great product. But just look at the reviews. Here's a review, March 9th. March 4th, April 2nd, December, February. They're not all in the same month. I mean, these are like legit reviews. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So, all right, moving on. You guys get the point. Crazy. I don't know what to think, guys. This, this reel was just junk and if you go on their social media sites, you're going to see, especially a lot of people in the kayaking world, they just, they got jerseys with this company's name on it, selling reels for $29. It just kind of came out of nowhere, it seems, and now they're just pumping that out there on social media. I mean, I get it. Everybody wants to belong to a company or belong to something in the fishing industry. And I don't know, maybe they feel it adds credibility. I don't know. I mean, the people that that are kicking your butts in tournaments and that know what's going on, they laugh at that stuff. I mean, not out loud, but just they know that it's just a ploy. Listen, I was there too. I used to wear my jersey to the bar on Saturday night, okay? I used to be that guy. But don't fall for that. Benefit of the doubt. Maybe I got a bad batch, okay? I doubt it. I doubt it. I want to know you guys' comments. We're, you know, do, should we talk more about the industry and some of the stuff that goes on and just, it's crazy. I am going to do a video about the cost of competing on a regional level and talk about some of my thoughts on that. Uh, I'm looking forward to making that video here in the next, uh, hopefully in the next month or two. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Maybe I'm off the rocker here. I can't please everybody. I figured that out just by reading some of the comments in past videos I've done on controversial subjects. And this isn't controversial. This is just an honest observation of the functioning 
of a bait casting reel through my experience trying to catch bass with it. It's all I did, and I shared it with you. The whole process from step A to step B to here we are now. Listen guys, leave any comments and likes below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please do so. Hit the notification button as well. I upload about two videos a week. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.